Matthew 17, verse 1. You know my message. I promise you that I'll be, you know, coming out with this message of hope from the throne of mercy. In our language today, we say sin is believing. As long as you cannot see, then you cannot believe. And I know that God, you know, is, 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 a, is a loving and caring, you know, Father, to all of us. He cannot, you know, let you be without any hope. You need to see hope that, oh, where I am, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Verse 1, this is 17 verse 1. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, John, I mean James, John, the brother of James, and led them up a hill mountain by themselves. Three. I mean, there he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Three. Just then, there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, this is for, Lord, it is good for us to be here if you wish. I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. Five, while he was still speaking, a bright crowd covered them, and a voice from the crowd said, This is my son whom I love. With him I'm well pleased. Listen to him. Tell your neighbor, say, Listen to him. Say it, say, Listen to him. Follow me now. Let me start from verse 2. There, in short, Jesus took his three disciples to the mountain that is the altar any place where you see anointed person, a holy man like Jesus carries people to go and pray for me personally that is an altar for, for, for God Almighty he took them there there he was transfigured before them his face changed what makes his face to change? And what makes him to be, you know, like the light? He was shining. Then the Bible says that there appeared before them Moses and Elijah. There appeared before them Moses and who? Elijah. Before this, you know, a two appeared. These are, you know, Holy men who carried the Bible before we came to this life. They appeared to him by what power? What makes these people have died long time ago to appear before our Savior? Elijah and Moses, no one has ever seen their graveyard. These are the prophets who appear on the mountain. And Peter saw this. And Jesus' face was completely changed. He was shining like a light. This is why Peter, you know, feel cool. He said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. What about Peter and his friend? He knew that Jesus would be our shelter. Peter saw that glory and the power which boosted is now his faith. To say, no, this is the man I, I need to be with, very close to. This is the man I need to trust. The Lord, you know, Jesus Christ, is there where you are sitting down. The way Moses and Elijah appeared, to Jesus. He went there to pray. They came to support his prayer. Angels are always there to support you spiritually. To energize you spiritually. Any 
same message from the throne of mess accompanied with, you know, angels. Moses cannot appear again like a human being. He appeared like who? Like a spirit. Just after talking to Jesus, they disappeared. And Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if you wish. Let me push you to verse 5. While he was still speaking, a bright crowd covered them. And a voice, I don't know, uh, people of God, if you are following me, you know, spiritually, or you are just hearing my voice. A crowd again covered them, a bright one. Inside that crowd, a voice, you know, speak. This is my son. This is my what? My son. Record cannot fight. Devil is real. Demons are real. Witchcraft is real. Death is real. If you say no, Moses, I mean Abraham, I carry me a kashinga. No, I go to Abraham. That is history. We are talking about your personal relationship with your Creator. So that when you cry, you see his presence to support you. To give you hope that I'm with you. Jesus was like, you know, less stressed because of the situation in the spirit. But there appeared Moses and Elijah to say, your father in heaven is in support of what you are going through. There he was boosted. There's nothing to worry again. What is life? If God Almighty is not in support of what you are doing. You go to church every Sunday. You know the program. You are too familiar with the program. People of God, any child of God who knows him and who hear from him, they don't trust anything like, you know, a gathering like this one. They are not comfortable. As long as they cannot hear or see, they are not comfortable. Because they know that our life is in danger. But when you see the presence of God Almighty where you are, you'll be like, yes, I think I'm on top of everything. This is why Peter said, Lord, it's better I establish two words, three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. What about him and his friend? He knew that Jesus is our shelter now. Oh. I, I pitch, you know, the church. The reason is very simple. What we respect here on earth, definitely such in the Kakuya Ikala. That's why Mumananga Tulepe Patulanda Fifweka. Ngamwakumana presence ya kwale saifule aikila. Solo money ya lech that dedicate ngande ya kwalesa. But when this man prayed, the presence of God came down. The Bible says that even those who are standing on the pavement, they kneeled down and worship the Creator. Because of what? The power. Any message from the throne of mess is accompanied with power. Power to defeat who? Satan and his activities. Are you there? Are you there? While he was still speaking, a bright crowd covered him. And a voice from the crowd said, This is my son, whom I love. With him, I'm well pleased. Listen to him. This is where now Peter said, Yes, this is the right man to follow. Don't go to church because when you die, they will take you to church. Go to church because you hear from your father. You are going to church because of salvation, not because of membership. Membership cannot fight your real enemy who are after your life. They want to capture your soul and take you to hell. Go to church because you know Jesus and Jesus knows you. He hears your voice and listen to what you know you are calling. I mean you are crying for. 
That is the purpose of you not going to church. A voice from the crowd. This is another level of our prayer today. A voice from where? Say, this is my what? I am well pleased with him. Listen to. Peter, you are a well of my mountain. Level at Shetaker, you are a Jesus, I will be back if you want to go to the Shetaker. Come later. But we push at the bad valley to what Elijah covered it up with before the other. Yes. Elijah, what did it? Worship him with power, not with the record. Who is going to answer to our problems? Who is going to heal? Is he a pastor? A pastor cannot heal you. What makes Peter to trust Jesus more is because of the power that he saw. He said, No, this is what I mean, this is beyond our standard. This man is from above. No wonder why he said. I'll make three shelters. He never, you know, uh, counted for himself. He knew that my life is in Jesus. A crowd covered them, a bright one. Today, this crowd will cover you. And you hear the voice confirming you to be his daughter and son. I said, this crowd will cover you. And you hear the voice confirming you to be his daughter and the son. In Jesus' name. I declare this crowd upon your life. 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 Be covered. Be covered. Be covered. Be covered. Be covered. Be covered. Touch the crowd. Feel the crowd. For you to be sure that yes, I'm secure. Touch the crowd of mercy. The crowd of mercy. The crowd of mercy. I declare it upon your life. 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 In Jesus' name.